So mate, the markets have been, uh, um, to say they've been volatile in the last sort of six weeks is a bit of an understatement. Um, tell me a bit about uh, what you saw happening and then and then what's transpired since. Uh, well, I mean, we, when we caught up in January, I think, you know, we were starting to say, and I think you even came in and I, I was like, I'm selling everything, I'm getting out. That's you it. Know, the whole market's um, looking crazy to us. Yeah. Um, and that was, you know, a very, I guess, fortuitous uh, move uh, in, in reducing our exposure. Unfortunately, we didn't build up a big short book at the time. Um, could have been, you know, a really profitable uh, three month period. Um, but we certainly did, uh, didn't do that badly through, I think, we actually lost more money in January when the market was going up yeah. um, due to those shorts. So it's been a, um, it's definitely been a tough period. I, I know a lot of managers have probably, um, you know, struggled significantly. And as I said to you, you know, I guess you, the competition um, can evaporate over this period, especially long only managers. Um, if you can't short sell in the period when the market drops, then you know you can't make profit, or it's very difficult to. Yeah. So the short book's definitely been helping us a lot um, in the last couple months. Um, and I honestly think that the market will probably continue lower for a while yet. Uh, our view is that the virus uh, shut down. I mean, you know, the pubs are shut, you know, cold hotels and everything's shut. Yeah. Um, it's pretty hard for the economy to bounce back in a, a quick way um, or a big way. So we think it'll be longer lasting uh, and probably just a slow grind lower. What you've probably seen at the moment though is that, you know, the stock market's bounced quite a lot from those lows in March. Yeah. And we think that's probably more so due to stimulus and short-term sugar hits, and then um, people getting, I guess, you know, coming out of the other side of it. But it's difficult to see how businesses' top-line earnings and um, uh, top-line revenue and earnings will do well through the period when, you know, even even just I use the example of um, to open up again, you're going to have you know certain other, uh, I guess, safety measures like having your know, hand sanitizers or things like that that you just constantly need to have less people in a venue. Um, supply chain costs there's so many costs that are going up that we can just see more and more impact on the, I guess more businesses revenue and profit in the future which obviously drives the stock market over the time so um, we think it's a good time for short man long short managers and certainly many I mean Stan Druckenmiller last night actually came out and said he's a famous investor in America saying um, you know the time now is for probably long short managers and we when we set the fund up had a view that um, the market was late cycle and if it turns down and you can survive a bear market, then you know that's how you grow a good business and good fund, good funds management business. So it's about surviving and thriving through those periods. And you know, over time, if you can prove that you can make money in all all cycles, not just when the market goes up, um, you know that's how you grow a great business. It's like you know, it's like surviving any any business. If you can survive hard times like the GFC or a recession, you're probably going to do even better when times um, get better. So more and more guys, I guess, are closing their door. Um, They've seen huge drawdowns over the last period during the market. Um, and yeah, I think if, you, if, if, if we you know, come out the other end, which is so, certainly the way we're, we're planning to do it and have been doing it so far, um, hopefully we'll have a better business by the end of it. Yeah. With a little bit of help as well, Rob. That's it, mate. That's it. Now, <laughs> your fund, um, you, you really sort of um, um, pr promise around about 10%. Um, yeah, we aim to do 10% right? a year. About 10%, right? Which is not extravagant. And you'd think for a long short fund that, that maybe the returns that people would be expecting would be higher, but that's not your aim, is it? It's to try and to yeah. try and hit that mark. And if you do that, everyone's happy, investors are happy. I guess, you know, there's two ways to think about it. Um, you know, people can try and generate more, but they can take more risk. So we don't use leverage. We don't, um, you know, gear up or do anything, anything fancy like that to try and, um, I guess, outsize the return. We try to run it pretty conservatively. Um, as I said, you know, it's a lot of my uh, money in the fund as well. Yeah. I don't really plan on losing it. No. Um, and 10% is normally around the number that most investors sort of try to, to gauge. And I think relative to the risk in it, we, you know, in a low interest rate environment, I mean, the cash rate's 25 basis points. You know, you're still asking for a huge return above the risk-free rate. So um, how we do that, you know, obviously we try and do it in a conservative way, run the low net low gross um, and just try and take high conviction plays. I mean, right now, we're probably more biased to the short side. We think the market could fall, um, but it's certainly hard to pick. The stocks are still very expensive in our view. So the long, although the stocks that we're investing in at the moment are quite limited, um, just because we think that the downside risk is too big. So certainly being very conservative at the moment. Um, 
and yeah, as you said, it's an absolute return uh, fund. So we want to make 10% regardless of what the market's doing. So um, we should get there again this year. Um, obviously last year we had a lot, lot more than that. Um, and it, that it will swing and change depending on market conditions. There's obviously some years it's a lot easier to make a lot more money. Um, but in other years, uh, obviously when the market's fallen now, uh, some guys will you know, do far less. They'll do negative 20 or negative 30 for the year, and we should we should get back to that net plus 10 for this financial year, and hopefully next year, you know, we'll be well positioned to do that or exceed it again. That's the plan.